Hey, 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 it's Michael. Welcome again. So this time we will talk about fields configuration and how to set mandatory fields without any validator and conditions, because this is another cool way. So mainly this method, what I will show you this time, will be used to require actually on our create screen some field configuration. It's a really simple process. However, I can tell you something. First few things when I was actually trying to do it was kind of complex. So please, please, again, you know, follow all my steps. Hopefully this video is not going to be too long. Right. So I'm going to perform this on my GR cloud. However, it, the process is almost identical on the server or the data center. Let's get to it. And of course, oh, by the way, I'm using again the free version of Jira. Right, so before we actually get started, what is my real life example? What is my issue with my, let's say, maybe newly created project? So, well, the problem is when we hit create button at the moment, that, of course, this is actually SSB project as always probably, but it doesn't really matter because you can actually create, you can create that uh, fields as the mandatory uh, option is one of the fields actually option for any type of project which is scram kanban i am not sure if it's a next gen because i i need to check so i am not saying it is possible or it's not possible but anyway we're going to use our i believe it is scram but you know kanban was is going to work absolutely fine so the problem is there is only one mandatory field required summary and i would like to add it to few extra yeah so let's see what we have show all fields we will go for custom or just like all and maybe not actually this one because it's actually custom so i will switch it to something else this time right so let's maybe go for mds this time why not if we create button why? Because it's a few extra fields just want to show. It doesn't really matter too much. But we would like to maybe add a component. We would like to add description. And let's see, we need to set... Uh, yeah, let's maybe actually focus only on this one. So summary is already done, which is fine. Component, uh, description, and attachments. What do you think? Summary, component, attachment, and description. Why not? It's a very, very good example. Yeah. Okay, so what is the steps? We can leave this open, <laughs> we can leave it open right there. And now we, the second tab, I'm just gonna like close this few extra tabs, which is confusing me. And now navigate to project and we will use MDS. So let's go from the project settings and let's go to the fields. And now please, please, please be very, 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 very careful because there is one trap. And if you do not pay attention, you can have a lot of trouble, especially, especially on the production. So please do, if you've never done it before, if you, or maybe even if, you, if you've done it before, like maybe once or twice before, do not, please do not perform this operation on your Jira production. Yeah, Only do it on your Jira dev or staging whatever yeah my what i'm talking about every time especially if you're messing around with fields or screens make sure how many project is going to affect yeah in my case it's going to be eight because i have only eight projects but in your case could be 200 and believe me i've done it before i messed up this completely a few years ago i've just like changed uh, something like 360 project at once fortunately it was not actually that severe so i was able to uh, restore it very very quickly so that's why i told you in the beginning it's a little bit more complex we have to perform in three stages so first of all we need to create a system field well system field. we need to create a default <laughs> configuration field for this project on default we just need to create a custom field configuration for this project okay how to do it i'm going to show you my quickest way so again i am going to open another tab and again you know you can actually hit the dot and go fields configuration yep uh, that's why we need to navigate to fields configuration and the right method in my opinion I've got a really strong opinion about this, by the way, is to copy the default 
field configuration. How do I know? Because actually, as you can see already, it's actually displaying that name over there. So what I'm going to do, I will copy this and well, we got actually copy. I don't know if we actually copy MDS. All right. So I'm going to now copy and the name, I will call it MDS. It just stands for something. I don't really remember what the MDS, mic demo, probably Scrum or something like this. But MDS, what's why the MDS? Because the key of the product, project, product, project is MDS. Yep. Yeah? So I'm going to copy that. All right. That has been copied. Okay, cool. That is great. So now let's see if I can change that. Yeah. So I'm going to go for use the different scheme. And again, I cannot because there is one important element missing. What is, which is, what is, which is field configuration scheme. Yeah. So again, I'm going to add, and that's when you can, you can only add, I'm going to say MDS configuration field. I would just be lazy copy over there. So it's going to be MDS field configuration scheme add, and you have to change it. Yeah. So I'm going to go for edit and from edit, I'm going to go for MDS field configuration. So, like a, so, so basically what I'm doing is field configuration is now assigning field, field configuration screen is just assigning field configuration. So I know it is a little bit confusing, but when you keep doing this, it will work absolutely fine. And look at this now, it is okay. And it's a copy. So why not? Because the default is the issue type. By the way, why this is actually the, 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 the different? Because in Jira, you know, life will be, of course, too simple. <laughs> in Jira, you can have a few different field configuration schemes. Why different? Because maybe you have a three or four different issue types. Like you want to have different type for script, for, for um, bug, for a task, for subtask, or for epic. And why this is actually very common practice, to be honest. Uh, because maybe the debug or maybe the task does not require same custom fields or same um, mandatory fields. Yeah. All right. But that's in my case, I'm going to only use one. So let's leave it. And now let's go back to my project. Again, go to the project, project settings. Is it MDS? Yeah, it is MDS. So I'm going to go to fields. And now I am ready to switch it. Yeah, so I'm going to for edit, so use different scheme, not edit, MDS field configuration scheme as a sheet. And of course, right now, if you've been doing this um, correctly, it would just like, and there was some changes, it should remap it. But because there is no remapping message, great, looks like it is absolutely fine because we copied we copied the default configuration scheme. That's why I use the copy. And now look at this, what's going to happen if I hit edit, there's only one project. Please, please guys make absolutely sure that it is only one project over here. Yeah? That's like, it should be your absolutely number one thing when you, when you, when you're changing, for example, screams, screams, screens, scheme screens. Cool. So, we are on the edit mode. So let's very quickly only for the, uh, because I need to know which field it was, jump to the, my third tab, uh, hit create button. And I know, as I told you before, I required mandatory fields in components. Yeah. So again, I'm going to move back, go for component. Uh, yeah, the component is here. And because I am still checking, yeah, I am sure one project, yeah, it is. I will, I will click it on the required. Great. And now that one, that, that, that component is required. So look at this. We can already test this. Let's navigate back to my tab number three. Let's cancel it and let's hit create. And as you can see, we already have got a second asterisk. Yeah. So now let's do it the same with attachment. Okay. Yeah. Attachment. Oh, by the way, I forgot to, 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 to tell you this. This is actually a little bit a problem with attachment. Sorry, guys. I should tell you that I checked before and it was a little different. An attachment, it is not possible to set it from 
uh, field configuration because there is no option for that but doesn't really matter if you really want to do we, we require attachments let me know you have to do it through validators so anyway we're going to ignore it and let's navigate to the next one and we're also going to put description description is absolutely possible to do it yeah yeah description and again i'm going to hit required so little problem with the attachment but not a very big deal because it is only a demo and as you can see we already had three fields of course attachment is little problematic but this is how you're going to do it and of course now if i hit create you need to put something 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 and now it's going to tell you oh no not possible because you have to select component yes i know i have a little problem with the components because components needs to be defined so i have to cancel it uh, go to components and create component. You can actually do it like something like dev. Yep, so that person is going to be, we can actually say it's me and it's going to be component lead. But it doesn't matter, absolutely, it doesn't matter. And, and now, yep, I can select, so I can again specify this, create, create, and of course, because component has been created, so now it's saying please set it as the required. All right, so that is going to be it for this presentation and please this one was like a little bit maybe more advanced however it is very very powerful feature and by the way uh, i've set it up for all issue types because it's one field however if you want to do it for scrum and pack just don't forget you need to create multiple field configuration scheme cool all right that is it for now however if you are seriously thinking to take your Jira knowledge into the next level and you want to contact me, I leave, I'm leave. i going to leave the in the description you can uh, the link. So please click the link and if you require help with your Jira or with a training, let me know. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next video.